Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi, doing my beach walk and talk now. And yes, I just came out of the sea. Always in the morning, I do my walk. I take a swim in the sea and I'll do some exercise over there if I uh, am not Muay Thaiing at the moment. Yes, we started Muay Thai at the family. Uh, even my brother joined, even my little nephew joined, Kayo. Uh, all enjoying Muay Thai to the fullest. Hope the sound is a little bit okay guys because it's windy but I'm using a mic. Um, walking the beach in Phuket. Uh, what do I want to talk about? I don't know anymore what to talk about because there is so many noise in this industry that I just want people to focus on accumulating Bitcoin. Like I even read an article this morning from Goldman Sachs that they think it's positive what happened to FTX because because of that they now start to buy into uh, cryptocurrency companies that are in um, liquidity problems. So that's what they said. When the blood is on the streets, you buy. And these banks and these investment companies, they exactly know what they are doing. So yes, this whole noise that uh, was created because of FTX collapse is creating a lot of noise for the retail investors like you, me, and many other out there. But for the huge investment companies, they see this at wow opportunity buy they will be stressing out these companies they will be forcing them to sell uh, their stocks for uh, low prices because you know they have problems and that is how the mindset differs from huge investment companies um, to normal people like normal people they work really hard to be able to pay their bills that is how people see their money they see their money as a tool to pay for bills. Look what a beautiful um, Thai structure over here. Really nice. Thailand is amazing. Um, on the beach. So these poor normal people, they see money as something they need to use to pay bills. And then we have this uh, middle class, uh, huge group of middle class people. They think that money is there uh, to create some credit so they can loan even more money to buy stuff they normally can't afford. That is what the middle class people do, you know? They just make a good job and they use their money and they save the money and then they will uh, use that money as collateral or a house as a collateral to, say, to loan more money and then with the loan money they will buy stuff they normally can't afford and that cycle continues. And then the shocks, the rich people, they see money completely different. They use money to make more money. They use capital to make more ca capital. That's why I've been telling you like for a, a lot of months now, you need to have your capital working for you. Don't work your ass off yourself, but have the capital working for you while you do the stuff that you like. I love to walk a beach. I love to spend time with my children. I love to make YouTube videos. I love to do a lot of things. But I don't love to be working for someone that forces me to do stuff every day that I don't even like or support. So that is why I had our capital working for us now. So how am I doing this? How is my capital working for me? In my opinion, I hodl Bitcoin because I know in average the CAGR is like 104% a year. So yes, we have ups, yes, have we downs, but every year it almost doubles in price if we average it out over the last 13 years. So for me, that's a very beautiful return investment just only by hodling. And the second thing that I do is, of course, I use a part of my capital for algorithmic trading, which means like a few Bitcoins are in my Bybit account and that is being traded by bots every day, 24-7. And these bots at the moment make some return investment. At the moment they make about like 3.6% a month. So 3.6% a month, there's a lot of profit for doing nothing. For just having your capital work for you. And I think that is what people should be understanding. Yes, you can put your money in bricks. Yes, you can put your money in all that stuff that ties you down to a location. Or you can have the money working for you through algorithmic trading, just like the banks have been doing when you did an investment in their fund. Now we are our own bank. The bot that I'm using is an average giving 3.5% a month. So if you trade with 10K, that's like about 350 US dollar. If you trade with 100K, which is like six Bitcoins at the moment, uh, you're making like 3,500 US dollar. And you trade with 100K, that makes 3,500 US dollar a month. And of those $3,500 a month, 
you can easily live a beautiful life in countries like Thailand or Bulgaria or Portugal or any other beautiful country um, that has a lot of sun and uh, healthy food and an amazing community. Are there any risks tied to uh, algorithmic trading? Yes, always. There is always a risk to trading. If you use leverage trading, you can be liquidated. If you lose a spot bot, the one that I'm using, you can still lose your dollar value because I am accumulating Bitcoin. The moment the Bitcoin price crashes in dollars means that I still have the same amount of Bitcoins, but it's not, it's not representing the same amount of dollars anymore. And some people could be freaking out because of that, because they want to have the same amount of dollars. And that is the mindset people should change. It's not about accumulating dollars. It's about accumulating the best money out there that will be yours, unconfiscatable, censorship resistance, and many other attributes that I like about Bitcoin. And I want my kids to have a beautiful future, so I want to save as much as possible Bitcoins for my kids' future. So I should be stacking sets. And if you think that stacking euros or stacking dollars is providing a beautiful future for your children, you should be stacking dollars um, or euros. I just don't believe it. I just don't believe it. I only believe in Bitcoin at the moment. That's my currency, like I've been saying many times now. And that is why I understand that these huge companies now, like Goldman Sachs, are starting to buy up all these cryptocurrencies. They know that Bitcoin is here to stay. And how do they know? Because of the FTX screw up, for example. Yes, they screwed up hugely. Yes, it was over the news hugely. Yes, billions of dollars are lost. And what is Bitcoin doing? Bitcoin is still the king. Bitcoin is still being that currency out there that does what it does. It makes a new monetary system that is accessible for everyone out there. And even the price is not that hugely influenced by the whole FTX screw up. It's hodling. It's hodling around 16, 17,000 US dollars. So these shocks, these huge companies, what do they think? They're like, oh shit, we have a war. We have an economical crisis. We had Celsius, Luna, and FTX screw up. Wow, all that shit happened, and Bitcoin is still there. Bitcoin is still doing its thing. That is what these institutional investors see. And that is why they have the mindset, aha, we need to multiply our capital. And how do we do that? By buying up those crypto companies now that have problems and that need a capital injection, and then we will turn it around, and we will make shit loads of profits. And yes, they will be investing in Bitcoin like the countries are doing and companies are doing because they know if Bitcoin is strong enough to survive all this shit that happened this year, then it must be really strong. And I think that is exactly what you should be thinking as well. You should not be afraid now because, ah, there was an FTX screw up, ah, there was something happening over there, ah, there was something with Celsius. Yes, all screw ups. Bitcoin is still doing its thing, guys. Bitcoin is still online. Bitcoin is still doing a trillion dollars in transactions every month. Bitcoin is still above 16,000. It's around 17,000 even. So don't let that market fool you. When the blood is in the streets, you buy. Now, that was everything I had to share for today. I need to go and walk back because today I'm going to spend a beautiful day with the family in Patong Beach. Uh, we need to drive like 30 minutes to go there and show the kids all the discotheques and all the stuff as well so that they uh, find a little bit more parties. <laughs> now, if you did enjoy the video, give it a video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about that mindset? Do you have the mindset of the poor, of the middle class, or the rich? Do you have uh, problems with converting your mindset from the poor to the rich mindset of using capital to make more capital? Not using your money to pay bills. Wrong way. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow again. Bam.